Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, we have started a series of videos where we are working on AZ-104 Microsoft Azure Administrator uh, Labs that are available <coughs> on the GitHub and I'll send you the link at the end of this video. We have completed first four set of labs, one, two, there are multiple two A and two B, then three A, three B, three C, three D. And four we have completed all of them and videos are already available <coughs> in this lab we're going to start lab 5 and this is where we are and this seems to be a little long lab 30 minutes so I'm going to divide this lab into three videos in this video we're just going to provision the lab environment and if you read this lab scenario Contraso has its data centers in Boston New York and Seattle <coughs> offices connected via a mesh wide area network links excuse me with full connectivity between them so you need to implement a lab environment that will reflect the topology of control source on premises network and verify its functionality so <coughs> we're gonna follow this task one to set up the lab environment now we created a lot of resources in the last few labs I deleted all of them the deletion is probably still in progress so if I try to deploy something and it, it fails most likely I have reached a quota limit in that case I'll just come back and redeploy but hopefully it will go smooth and by the time we are ready to deploy uh, everything else is gone so sign into Azure go to the cloud cell and use the power cell so we have done these three steps many many times so far so go to our Azure instance, <coughs> go to our cloud cell. Now it's here at the bottom. And I'm or I already have the parcel enabled open. Okay. Again, if you're doing the first time, hopefully you are not, then you will see it will ask you to create a storage, just create the storage. And from here, what we need to do, we need to upload a couple of template files okay so what I'll do I'll just do a Google search on this one I don't want to move away from this page so this is one of the files that I need so uh -oh. no no not that one I just need to go to that particular file itself it still didn't go to the file that I wanted so let's just go to all files labs so copy just get rid of it uh, go to instructions then all files lab files and which one is it which one is it that I need all files lab 05 all file lab 05 is that folder so I need both of them so let's just download both of them raw and I'm gonna save this one in desktop uh, let's uh, create a new folder say lab 5 and uh, I can save that one and go back and there's another file that I need so this is the parameter file I need the template file as well so save that one in the same place Save that one so this one you can spend some time to look at this so this template is the most important file and schema and content version they're required uh, so if I just look at it it's defining VM size uh, type of <coughs> VM and then uh, uh, admin username admin password whole bunch of uh, variables VM name nickname virtual network name public IP address, network security group name, VNet IP prefix, subnet, subnet name, subnet reference, <coughs> API version for computer network, then name type, Microsoft Compute Virtual Machines, uh, computer name, admin username, uh, hardware profile, just looking at it, so at least I saw one. Uh, uh, one virtual machine is defined over here there is looks like at least another one defined over here uh, there is the network interfaces here is my IP addresses uh, here is my network security groups okay and uh, 
that's pretty much it so what we'll do we'll go back to the lab and what is doing in the toolbar cloud cell upload those two files so let's do that uh, where is my cloud environment that's right over here <coughs> Uh, let's just reconnect and once it's connected <laughs> I'm gonna upload those two files so we created under labs so this is the first file upload is complete and upload that's the second file and right now this upload is complete right here okay so let's go back to the lab <coughs> So cloud cell home we have done that from this cloud cell pane run the following to create the first resource group that will be hosting the first virtual network and the pair virtual machines replace the azure region one placeholder with the name of the azure region you where you intend to deploy this azure virtual machines now this is an interesting one where do we want to do that maybe let's try to do that in east us and see if that works so let's uh, copy this uh, go to our cloud cell base oh I don't like this one let's close this one let's uh, refresh this page sometimes it happens to me uh, the copy paste doesn't work very well so let's uh, try to open it one more time Okay, let's see if it's working properly yes it did so here what this said uh, instead of Azure region 1 I'm just gonna use East US that's gonna be my uh, location so this is my uh, resource group name where we want to do this and then this new easy resource group this is just creating this that resource group in East US okay so let's do that so that has now done and here's the resource ID subscription subscription ID resource group and the resource group name now the next uh, from the cloud cell run the following following uh, to create the first virtual network and deploy virtual machine into it by using the template and parameters file we have uploaded so let's run this one and let's read what it's going to do new AZ resource group deployment so under this resource group we're going to deploy uh, based on a template file and we're going to pass parameters from the parameter file and hit enter and long running it may take a little bit of time most likely from the cloud center run the following to create the second resource group that will be hosting the second virtual machine so uh, this is the second virtual machine so the first one was zero so this one is rg1 so that's the uh, difference in their naming so let's do so rc that command is run so there is an, another resource group that's created in the same region and now i'm going to do another uh, similar command and that's going to host uh, the same stuff in uh, in a different resource group okay and this is a wrong learning running process from the cloud cell pane run the following to create the third resource group that will be hosting the third virtual network uh, and the third virtual machine replace the azure 2 placeholder with name of the another azure region where you can deploy azure virtual machines different from the azure region that you have used so this time um, let's try west us so let's go and get this location and instead of east us let's try west us and uh, we're gonna create the resource group and uh, the new resource group name so that's now uh, created in the west us we're gonna deploy a similar virtual network and virtual machines into it using this command right there okay so wait for the deployment to complete before proceeding to the next step this should take about two minutes to verify the status of the deployment you can examine the properties of the resource groups you created in the task so 
so far for the configuring the network I think we are done so we can go over here first let's look at the notification again the notification is really not showing too much so let's go back to home go to resource group and I'm going to minimize the cloud show and everything that starts with AC10404 <coughs> so this is the first resource group so if I go in there looks like I got one virtual machine or virtual network and everything is present so I'm happy with that one uh, let's go to resource group 2 this is also in the same region um, I got virtual machine 2 and everything else, else associated with this let's go to uh, actually virtual this is 2 is in a different region so 0 was in East US right so if I go to VM0 it should tell me that it's deployed in the East US that's true so let's go take a look at um, take a look at resource group take a look at RG1 and let's go to the VM1 verify this is also deployed in uh, East US okay that's we did and let's one last time verify this go to the VM and verify that it's in the West US location West US okay so right now what we have done in this video we have configured our lab environment so you have a similar type environment one in Boston one in New York and one in Seattle two of them are in the same region and one is in a completely different region and we have the lab set up so we have completed the provisioning the lab environment in the next video we will start configuring the local and the global virtual network peering if you like the video please uh, like subscribe and come back to the next video to continue with the task thank you very much good luck with the exam